Hi, I'm Ben with Teleport, and in this short video, I'll be giving you a quick overview and demo of using Teleport Database Access with MongoDB Atlas. In my previous videos, I've shown you how to set up MongoDB with uh, MongoDB that you're running yourself. MongoDB Atlas is a hosted solution from um, the Mongo, and it will work both on the free and enterprise plans. You can sign up for a free plan at um, mongodb.com. I have a small um, free instance here, which I'll be using for this demo. So in this guide, we're going to cover how you can configure Teleport database access for accessing your MongoDB cluster. There's a few reasons for this. Teleport provides a central gateway and access plane to your infrastructure. A core benefit is that you can tie anyone who's accessing your database back to the identity, which can be in your SSO provider. We'll show you how to configure um, self-managed X509 authentication. And lastly, I'll show you how to connect um, using Teleport. So step one is you need to configure Teleport. This is covered a lot in our quick start. I'd recommend checking out that video. Um, but we have a little bit of instructions here on just setting up Teleport auth and proxy. Um, in my case, in this demo, I've configured my auth and proxy in AWS Cloud. This was my previous cluster, which I'm going to leverage this DB service again to um, connect to my MongoDB Atlas. And that was what you saw as the um, Teleport database service. When you add this database service, you need to add a certain type of token, um, which is a DB to say that it's the DB service token. I often add a DB and a node token, so I can use Teleport to quickly access and debug it, which is very helpful when you're setting up Teleport the first time. We have some instructions here on um, starting the Teleport database service. Um, I use the file configuration because it provides more flexibility and I can also add multiple databases. I actually have, um, you can see my instance here. It has the MongoDB, which is the hosted solution. You can see one of the benefits of using Teleport as a sidecar is you can just connect over the local host, so you never need to make your MongoDB instance publicly available. And then for Atlas, you use this string, which is um, created when you create your instance. I have a CA cert file, which you will need to um, connect, and then just some um, static labels here. So to go over some of the um, flags uh, in the command line, we have a few options here. We have um, connection endpoint, you can get this through, um, if you go connect, connect to Mongo shell, like this is the string. So it's uh, MongoDB plus SRV, Atlas, the name of your instance, this short string, and then MongoDB.net. And then the CA cert. MongoDB Atlas uses Let's Encrypt. And so you need to download the Let's Encrypt root certificate, um, which you get downloaded from, obviously, Let's Encrypt. It's here. And then you have to save that onto your database service box. So you can see I've saved this to, um, here. Next up, you need to create a Teleport user and make sure that that user has access to these roles. In my case, I just have modified my access role to provide access to the database and the database names. So if I come into my roles, you can see I've accessed wildcard all databases, and then I have accessed a few different principles, and then I'm gonna be using another name to Benarrant to log into my MongoDB cluster. Okay, next up we have configuring Atlas. What you wanna do is enable self-managed X509 authentication. This is under advanced. You need to sort of scroll down. To get this certificate, you need to get this from the Teleport auth server. You can do that using tcuddle auth sign um, and just run this instructions. All you need is the, Mongo the mongo.cas file, and then you can upload this. The next stage is you need to create the MongoDB user. Um, this is under users, and you need to make sure that the common name of the user which you want to be um, acting as has CN and then Alice. So if I come to my instance, I have common name, Benarrant, which is also the name in which I'm going to log in. 
If you actually see here, I started initially doing a small CN. This it doesn't work, so it's very important to, that you make it um, capital C, capital N, and then the name of um, the user which you're going to be logging in as. Okay, so let's connect. Get my terminal. So the first thing I'm going to do is log into Teleport. I'm logging to my proxy, and then I'm connecting using GitHub, which is my identity provider. Since I'm already authenticated with GitHub, it's logged me straight in. Okay, let me just resize this for you. You can see I have access to a range of different databases, but we're going to um, log in to MongoDB Atlas. And then the DB user is the one which in which we set the common name, which is also my username. So now if I do connect MongoDB Atlas, you can see that I um, have connected to this cluster, which is my public proxy URL. And then it sort of routes through to um, MongoDB's Atlas. Let me just uh, show DBs, and then I exit. So that's me accessing it. And because we use Teleport and all of the connections go through Teleport itself, we keep a um, great order log of all of these actions. And it says when the session started, when it ended, and you can see all this information about what commands ran on that database. So we've done the connect. If you don't want to use our TSHDB um, config, you can also just use uh, TSHDB config and then format command. And this will tell you what the commands are if you just use straight MongoDB. So you can see I picked the host, which is my proxy. It's over 443. And then this is the PEM key file, which we downloaded when we did uh, TSHDB login. Another thing of note, because I have um, logged in using Teleport, I've configured it to only issue me a 11 hour certificate. What that means is for myself and all other team members, they will only have access to the MongoDB database for um, 12 hours. After that 12 hour period, they'll need to obtain the certificates again. And you can make this as long as short as you'd like for your organization. Last up, you can also remove credentials um, using TSHDB logout or you can log out of all databases. So that brings me to the end of how to set up Teleport for MongoDB Atlas. If you have any questions or comments, please hit us up in our GitHub discussions or on our Slack room. Thanks for watching.